Alright, today we're talking about identifying symmetry. Alright? A figure in a plane has line symmetry if the figure can be mapped onto itself by a reflection line. So this butterfly here. Okay, reflection line. Line M, alright, if you're able to fold that butterfly like when it flaps its wings up or folds its wings up, alright, this wing maps onto that wing. Okay? That's the line line M here is the line of symmetry. Okay? This line of reflection is called line of symmetry, all right? Now, looking at these figures down here, how many lines of symmetry does the hexagon have? All right, here's a hexagon, 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 all right? So how many lines of symmetry does this hexagon have? Well, we would have line of symmetry here, right? If we're able to fold it on that line, it would map itself onto, its, on, onto itself, as well as we have a line of symmetry here. We have two lines of symmetry for this one, okay? If I try and go diagonally here with this one, is that a mapping, okay? When you fold it over, does this point go on to that point? And no, it won't. It'll be up here somewhere, okay? As well as this one will be down there. So there, this one has two lines of symmetry. Uh, this hexagon, all right? If we take a look at this one, we got line of symmetry here. This one, if we do go through the points, if I draw it through the points, okay, it will give me a line of symmetry as well as through the faces. So how many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six. And now that's that line which I've already counted. So six lines of symmetry. And this last one here, well, looking at this, the angle here is different than the angle over there, so I would not have any vertical line of symmetry. So the only one I have is the horizontal line of symmetry. Okay, so again, for the first one, two lines of symmetry, vertical, horizontal. This one, there are six lines of symmetry through the faces, through the vertices, face, vertice, vertice, face, vertex. All right, and then one line of symmetry. All right, how many lines of symmetry does the object appear to have? So I want you to do these three problems, all right, and to try and determine how many lines of symmetry these figures have. Think in your head, draw the diagrams, whatever. How many lines of symmetry do these figures have? Okay. All right, now rotational symmetry. Those were reflection with a line of symmetry. Now we're talking about rotational symmetry and what's the center of symmetry? All right, where are we rotating it? Okay, um, so if you talk about a pinwheel like this, okay, when does it map itself onto the pedal map onto another pedal? All right, 45 degree angle, if this is the original, if we go 45 degrees, all right, that'd be in here. That's not a rotational symmetry. But if you go 90, you go from the original here to 90 degrees, that is a mapping, as well as 180. If I take this, rotate 180 degrees. Okay, that would map it as well. All right. Um, the figure above also has a point of symmetry, which is 180 degrees rotational symmetry. All right. Now, does the figure have rotational symmetry? If so, describe any rotations that map the figure onto itself. So, if we rotate this, are we going to have? symmetry, okay, a symmetrical object, all right, if we think about this one here, okay, yes, we do, all right, through the center, which is the intersection of the diagonals, all right, through that point there, you have a 180 degree rotation, okay, 180 degrees, okay, and this one, yes, we do, all right, there is rotational symmetry there as well. All right, every rotation, if you intersect or have two intersect at that point, and the rotation is that angle there. Okay. The center is the intersection of the diagonals. Rotation is a 45, 90, 135, 180, about the center. Okay, and we have an octagon here. And if you take 360 divided by the number of sides, 
All right, and in this case it's eight. So 360 divided by eight, okay? Eight goes into 36 four times. There's four left over. Eight goes into 45 times, 45. So every 45 degrees, you're gonna have a rotational symmetry, all right? How about our trapezoid here? Okay, now your rotational symmetry must be less than 180 degrees, 180 degrees or less, all right? If it's more than that, it's just a, re uh, a repeat of the previous ones. Okay, so it's 180 degrees or less to determine whether or not it's rotational symmetry. And this would take us, require us to go 360 degrees to get back to a, a mapping of the original figure. Okay? All right, it would take us 360 degrees to get back to that point so it matches up. This one, if I, again, rotated 45 degrees, boom, it would go to that point. And, you know, and every other point would match up. All right, does the figure have rotational symmetry? If so, describe any rotations that map the figure onto itself. Okay? So try these problems, and we will talk about these in class. All right, so you got these problems, these three problems. Does it have a line of symmetry? How many lines of symmetry are there? Is, is there rotational symmetry for these figures? Okay, and what's, if so, describe the rotation. So is it 45, 90 degrees, you know, nine, uh, 180, you know, what degree describe the rotation that will map it onto itself? Thank you.